if you have a small apartment and particularly if you uh, leave the dog alone a lot of the day to go out to work or do other things um, that dog is going to be unhappy I mean dogs are social animals there's some putting a, a, your own needs ahead of the, the animals in, in many cases Peter Singer es un filósofo y eticista que ha enunciado los derechos de los animales y que ha hecho de su vida un testimonio para defender a nuestros hermanos en la existencia sobre este planeta. Las macrogranjas son tal vez el punto negro en los derechos animales en la cultura occidental. Yeah, there are a lot of consequences that are coming from the very large scale animal farming that um, is going on and is still increasing in, in some parts of the world. Uh, so apart from all the suffering we inflict on the animals, there are very bad consequences for our own health, uh, for our environment and for the entire planet. We are often now so badly out of balance with uh, the environment that supports us uh, that uh, we uh, are already suffering from that and we will suffer more. Um, and certainly the pollution of water from factory farms uh, is a, a major problem in, in many parts of the world. Um, you know, very serious in parts of the United States, in, in many countries. Uh, and it's a, it's a high price to pay for eating such a lot of meat, which um, in any case, you know, isn't really good for our health either. I think there's another very direct harm that comes from a uh, high consumption of, of meat. Usted ha cuestionado la experimentación con animales en laboratorio. Francamente, Dr. Singer, eh, yo prefiero salvar la vida de un niño a la de un ratón. There is an immense amount of animal experimentation which has nothing to do with saving human lives. Um, and yet it causes a great deal of animal suffering. Uh, so, um, you know, if people were sincere in saying human lives are more important than animal suffering, uh, and if they acted on that, then we would still have only a small fraction of the experiments left because uh, the great majority of them um, have no prospect of ever saving human lives. There are industries that uh, produce animals in by, by the millions or tens of millions for um, experimentation, um, and they are a powerful lobby. There are scientists who have been trained and educated to do experiments on animals and don't know any other way of, of doing this. You know, if uh, they're not trained in artificial intelligence, for example. So if somebody says, well, we could screen these uh, possible drugs to see whether they're going to be dangerous by using artificial intelligence, these scientists won't know how to do that. Their, their training is all in how to, um, how to use rats to uh, force feed the rats and measure how many rats die from, from that. So um, there are established interests in continuing to do things in the same old way. Darwin explicó que los humanos ensanchamos nuestra esfera de libertades y derechos y, por ejemplo, la esclavitud o la pena de muerte están desapareciendo. Pero no estará completa esa esfera hasta que no incluyamos a los animales. ¿Cómo va a producirse esa inclusión? I do see some expansion of uh, concerns, you know, if you look at it over a long enough time period. Uh, but even even in my own lifetime, since it's uh, now 50 years since I first started thinking about the ethics of how we treat animals, um, I have seen some progress, but uh, the progress is very slow, um, even in the most advanced countries, even in the European Union, for example, um, it's still very slow. Um, and it's uneven. Uh, it doesn't cover all animals. It doesn't cover all countries. Uh, so um, it's, it's somewhat discouraging the way we have to fight this battle over and over again. Las corridas de toros, ha denunciado usted como tantos animalistas, son una exhibición gratuita de crueldad. Francamente, ¿cuál es la diferencia con matar a un toro en un matadero? o matarlo en una plaza de toros. Para el toro, ¿hay alguna diferencia? Well, firstly, um, you know, if, if a slaughterhouse takes as long to kill an animal, you know, as long before the animal first 
feels pain to when the animal dies as a bullfight, it should be closed down. Um, you know, I, I'm sure that's illegal under Spanish law and under European Union law in general to have slaughterhouses in which an animal takes uh, you know, a long time to die. Uh, slaughter is supposed to be uh, humane. Um, it's supposed to be, uh, you know, the animal should be stunned first um, and, and not recover consciousness before it's uh, killed. So um, I don't think the comparison is, is a good one. The bullfight encourages a certain attitude to animal suffering, which is not only that it's tolerated, but even that it's enjoyed by the spectators. And I think that's something which must have a, uh, an influence on society's attitudes to animals in general, um, which, which is a negative one.